Hi, Shalom. Hi, first and foremost, I'd like to get all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, and Kakodach. I'd like to say double honors to my apostles, great millstone that rule well. I'd like to say peace and salutation to the hopeful elect that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the world. All right, with confusion of faces, with charity, you know, and, and, um, <clears throat> and diligence, man. All right, this, um, this is a continuation of my uh, previous video off um, 2nd Ezra 8 and 50 because um, the DU recorder keep cutting off on me so I had to uninstall reinstall another one so so this is this uh, this gonna be my continuation off my uh, previous video alright the 2nd Ezra 8 and 50 say for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world okay and that great misery alright is the hour of temptation man alright the hour of temptation which the chip gonna come out you know it's gonna be civil war alright on the soil of America, all right, it's gonna be <clears throat> it's gonna be martial law. People gonna be thrown in concentration camps. So many great miseries gonna come upon this world, man, and also especially America. All right, read this again. Second Ezra eight and fifty say, for many great miseries shall be done to them. Who was them? The wicked, man. Okay, two thirds of our people. All right, and these other nations as well. That's that's dwelling here in America. All right, because mainly our people gonna get it because. They is not pushing the word, man. All right, they is, they they is not um, you know, doing the truth. All right, they is not they is not um acknowledging your how I was shy. For many great mis misery shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride, and that great pride, man, is that exaltation, man. All right, and you exalting you 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 high minded, you exalting, nobody can't tell you nothing. All right, you, you, that's that American pride, man. All right, so the Lord going to bring that pride down, you know, saying through temptations, man. Lord going to test you. He's going to put you in the fire. All right, and also, you know, the um the elect going to get tried too, and the Lord going to save the elect out of it. Okay, so we're entering the time of Jacob's trouble anyway, according to uh, Jeremiah thirty and seven, I believe. Okay, so that great pride is lingering. <clears throat> you know, what I'm saying that that spirit of great pride is lingering, because you know, you know, uh, um, the scriptures say what. Pride goes before destruction, man. Okay, so you're gonna be you're gonna be destroyed for being prideful, all right? And that misery is gonna come upon this world, man. All right. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a um it's gonna be a, a um it's gonna be a whole lot of affliction going on, man. Esau finna bring his um his whole a game. You know, what I'm saying to you, so called black slaves and Native Americans, man. That's not that's not hearing the word, man. You know, putting off the word. You know, what I'm saying waving waving us off, man. All right, that's why that temptation's finna come, man. Cause y'all relaxed and pride, man. All right, Slovakia. <laughs> I'm under the weather right now. Um, I'm gonna go to the next scripture. I'm gonna go to Revelations. <clears throat> go to revelations 3 and 10 it says because thou has kept the word of my patience okay so the whole for elect man keeping the word you know what i'm saying of the lord's patience man because the patience is really you know we we you know going on the highways and byways you know pushing these videos out okay um enduring all right enduring enduring affliction okay that's the patience man and we, we and we sitting here signing crime, waiting on the Lord to come back, man. So this year, how shall I speak? Revelation three and ten said, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, man." Okay, because when all hell break loose, man, the Lord gonna save us out of it, man. Lord willing, man. All right, Lord willing, I'm part of the elect. Okay, because all hell finna break loose on this on this um soil, man, and across the world, man. All right. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And that chip finna come out too, so, so that's power of the temptation. And also, <clears throat> like I said before, it's gonna be race wars, all right? It's gonna be famine, all right? People gonna be starving and shit, all right? And that's the hour of temptation, man. That's finna come upon this uh, world, man, all right? So the Lord gonna keep us from the hour of temptation, man. That's finna come upon this place, man. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So the Lord gonna test everybody that's on this world on this earth, man. Okay, He's gonna test the elect too. 
but mainly, you know what I'm saying, the people that's not, you know, not hearing the word and scoffing, you scoffers, and you um and you and you scorners, man, y'all gonna be tested, man. The ones that be talking crazy on the um on the keyboards, man, scoffing against the men of the Lord, y'all gonna get tested, man, and y'all gonna fail. All right, when famine hit, all right, when martial law hit, that's the hour of temptation, man. All right, y'all y'all is not gonna get delivered out of it, man. <coughs> okay, it says. The hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon earth. Okay. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. Okay. You're supposed to hold fast to this truth, man. Hold fast to the gospel. And that crown represents the kingdom. So we striving for that kingdom, man. So we got to go through a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? To go to get where we at, man. Because we almost out of here. All right. I'm going to go to 2 Peter's. <clears throat> Second Peter's 2 and 9. Second Peter's chapter 2, verse 9. say, The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, man. So the Lord know who's who's wicked, who ain't wicked, man. All right? The Lord know who's, who's pushing his word. The Lord knows who's doing the truth. He's going to deliver... The godly, which is the elect, out of temptation, man. And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment. To be punished. All right? Let's look at the word reserve. Greek word terio means says to attend to carefully take care of <laughs> metaphorically to keep one in a state which in which in which he is so the lord going to keep keep you wicked in a state which y'all are man he's going to keep y'all um reserve you know unto punishment he's going to keep you in that state to get destroyed man all right read this again it's like it says Two Second Peter two and nine say the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of the temptations. So temptation is gonna come upon this world, man. Alright? It's gonna be a lot of um <clears throat> it's gonna be a it's gonna be a lot of affliction going on. Alright. If you tempted, you know, to get that chip, the Lord gonna deliver us out of that. Okay? It's gonna come a time that, you know, the angels gonna be a part of part of our deliverance, man. And to reserve the unjust, all right? He's going to put y'all in that state of punishment, man. Uh, the just unto the day of judgment to be punished. Why? Because y'all not doing the work. Y'all scoffing against the men of the Lord, man. And, and that our temptation is going to come upon this world, man. All right? Um, This is my last scripture. I'm going to close out. This is a hit or quitter real quick. This is Psalms... <clears throat> There's a song, chapter 34, and what, 17? It's a lock here. This is, uh, <clears throat> Psalms 34 and 17 say, The righteous cry, and the Lord hears, and delivereth them out of all their troubles, man. Alright. So guess what? Ezekiel 94 says what? The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, uh, we sign cry, man. You know what I'm saying? Is uh, uh and the, the Hebrew word the wah. Alright. Goes back to the Hebrew word the wah means judgment, man. Alright. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get that. Psalms 34 and 17, read this again. It says, The righteous cry. Who is the righteous, man? The elect. We cry because Look at all the wickedness that's happening in this world, man. Look at all the wickedness that's going on in Babylon, which is America, right? We cry because we need to get the hell up out of here, man. We cry for salvation. The righteous cry, and we, and, and, and you know what? We cry every day. You know, seeing all the wickedness, seeing all these um these different turmoils that's happening on this um, soil, man. And the Lord hears, we, the Lord hears cry, man, right? And delivers them out of all troubles. Because, you know, trouble 
all troubles coming here to America, man. Okay, and the Lord's gonna deliver the elect <clears throat> out of all troubles, man. That's the owl temptation, man. All right. Let's go to Ezekiel 94. So since I mentioned it, Ezekiel 94. It says, Ezekiel 94 saying, The Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead. All right? And that mark represents the Hebrew word, the wild means exemption from judgment, man. All right? Upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And I'm going to go back to Psalms. <coughs> Psalms 34 and 17. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth. All right, so we sign and cry, man. All right, we got that mark, man. All right, and delivers them out of all temptations. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, I'm talking about the angels, all right, and set a mark. That mark represents the wild means exemption, exemption, all right, from judgment upon the foreheads of the men that sign and cry, and, and, the, and the righteous sign and cry. All right, for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, all right, and, a, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry, all right, the righteous cry, and the Lord hears and delivered deliver them out of all temp, all their troubles, all right, so that's a precept right there, man, okay, so um, with that, man, I hope y'all was edified, this is my continuation from, um, from my, uh, from <clears throat> exhortation scriptures, man, of the day. Shalom.